Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up YouTube on your Chromecast with Google TV. Now first you just want to check on your homepage, go down to your apps, and you might have YouTube already installed and it would show up in the Your Apps area. But if YouTube doesn't show up in this area, what you need to do is go to the search option, click select on that with your Google TV remote, and then in the search area, we're going to go ahead and type in YouTube. And then once you have YouTube typed in, click the little magnifying glass to search for the YouTube application. And then it should take you over to the YouTube for Android TV application. And right in this area, you should have an option that says install. We're going to click select on that. And then it's going to go through the download and installation process. And how fast this goes, it just depends on how good your internet is. And once the app is done installing, you can open it right here from the app page, or you can go back to your home page by clicking the home button on your Google TV remote, then going down to your apps and YouTube should show up at the end of the line. Any new applications that you install are gonna show up towards the end. And if you have more apps than can fit on the screen, then at the end of the line, there'll be a see all apps option. You can click that and then you should be able to find it in there as well. So then once we have YouTube here, if you wanna move it, just go ahead and hold down the select button on your Google TV remote, click move and then move it to the area that you want to have it show up in your apps area. I'm going to have it a second from the start and then clicking the back button. All right. So then once you have YouTube here, you can select it, open it up. And if it's the first time you're opening the YouTube application, it will probably prompt you to sign in right at the get go. There should also be a sign in option over on the left hand side. Go ahead and click select on sign in. And then once you sign into your account, it should have recommendations based on your watch history, as well as all of the channels that you're subscribed to. You should be able to get recommended content from those channels as well. So I hope this video is helpful. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing and I'll catch you back here next time.